I'm Richard Hall. I'm here at the vigil for US Air Force member Aaron Bushnell, who committed an act of self-immolation outside of the Israeli embassy on February 24th, 2024. He was frustrated, just like we all are. He was just frustrated. Nothing was changing. There hasn't been a ceasefire. There hasn't been any negotiations for an immediate ceasefire, at least. He did not want to take part in the genocide. He did not want to take part in the killing of innocent men, women, and children. It reminds me that all of us here in the U.S. as taxpayers are complicit in this genocide uh, and that our, our taxes literally fund uh, the war machine that uh, is currently killing our people. And as a Palestinian living here, uh, that's profoundly difficult and uh, that's why we're here uh, to say that enough is enough. You, you, you'll see here a, a list of uh, every single name that we have um, of the, the dead in Gaza uh, and that list just goes on for, for meters and meters, uh, over 30,000 people. The people of this country have a duty to stand up and criticize our elected officials. And I think we have been conditioned to think that there's something wrong with that. But it is not only something we should be doing, but it's something that all of us can be doing. The pain and the agony that he must have suffered in order to take such a drastic and dramatic action, we are feeling as well. And it's the least we can do is pay homage to him and to his courage, who have witnessed this for over four months and feeling complicit and helpless as to change the, our government and to intervene and stop this slaughter is, is almost unbearable. Aaron's sacrifice says it all. It's such a desperate, desperate act and a young life. I refuse to vote for the le lesser of two evils. And I, I just think the whole world sees what's happening now. And I stand ashamed, ashamed of my country. I applaud everybody who comes out here and let us raise our voices. I don't want to be silent and complicit any longer.